Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got a mixed bag out here. We've got the uh, Dow that is off uh, 29 points. The S&P is up 6. The NASDAQ 100 up 110 points out there. Percentage-wise, it's NASDAQ leading the charge the upside. To the downside, the semis are off 8 uh, points. That's about 4 tenths of a percent. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, charts here, the indices, the levels to be watching today. So for the S&P 500, trading right now at 3386, we're looking at the cash indice. Any close above 3381, 01 today, uh, negates the uh, topping pattern that was in place. Uh, the S&P having two topping signals, a TD9 count, as well as a Rhodes Momentum indicator topping pattern. So close again, 3381, 01, above that level. Says 3389.15. Now we're trading at 3387. So 3389.15 is a resistance level. A close above that um, says uh, we're headed higher out here until some type of bearish reversal candle would form. So 3381. And I'd have to also say 3389.15. Those are the levels to be watching today for signals from the SP 500. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow would need today to close above 28,154.88. Not actually close above, trade above. Let me look at this again. Trade above 28,154.88 to generate some type of topping signal. Short of that, there is no topping uh, signal in place here inside the Dow, and it wants to continue to move higher. Support is 27,597. Its next real resistance level to the upside is 29. 409. Again, the number today watches 28,154.88. That could generate a TD, that would generate a TD9 count pattern. Um, short of that, uh, there is no topping pattern in play as we speak right now for the Dow. Inside the NASDAQ 100, it topped out wave number seven, letter G out here. It's really the NQ that's got the topping signal that's in place. Uh, but at this stage here, if we take a look at the NDX 100, if it takes out its most recent highs, that will negate its topping signal as well. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, the cash indice, very much like the Dow, it needs to get to the price point at least of 1603.60. And that would be today or tomorrow to generate some type of topping pattern. Short of that, there is no topping pattern in place for the Russell 2000. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show and then a couple more great hours after that. If you're off to start your Thursday, have a thirsty one. And we'll see you on Fantastic Friday. Take care, folks.